terribly welcome. It's Scarlet Pete Self-Sufficiency and Crafts and it's Machine Knitting Series. I'm going to show you how to stitch together a Raglan Baby's Cardigan. So that's a sleeve we've got here, you see. So what we've got to do is put all the Raglan bits together first. Here's a front piece. This is the cast off bit. There's always a three stitch or five stitch cast off area. So those need to go on top of each other, facing each other. And we've got to put the Raglan shaping against each other, sleeve to front panel first. Gently hooking it along, catching the side stitch. On the side you've got a long stitch and a knot and I'm stitching, I'm going into the slide long stitch there, hooking them up. I was always right sides together. With a raglan, it's really important to follow the, the fully fashioned shaping here. We've got the decreased stitch here and we've got the three stitches. So we may need to make sure we've kept that seam looking really smart. Now to put the front on. This is the front panel. This is the sleeve area and this is the V-neck. That's the cast off area. Three cast off stitches each side put together. That's the side seam to be. Now I've just got to hook all this up nice and neatly all the way along. Two sides together and I left purposely a long length of yarn at the top. That's going to go back into the feeder and knit one row across and I'm going to cast off. One row knitted, now cast off in whichever way you like to do. I cast off on seams behind the sinker hooks here. So I catch the loop behind as I go along, so it keeps the width of the fabric and you don't stretch it too tightly. There we go, that's the first seam done. I pull it off and pull it through the last stitch. I'm really pleased with that seam. That's really nice and tidy. You see what I mean about keeping the lines straight? That's the whole beauty of raglan. Front panel, sleeve, now the back panel, then a sleeve, then the front panel. It's that easy. And I know the number of stitches I used, which is 27, 28, for the first seam here. So I'm going to use exactly the same amount so I get the measurements all the way through the same. Pretty. Do you like it? I like it. And there's the length of yarn that I've kept long to stitch it together with. So now I need to put the back panel on, right sides touching each other again. Hooking up the first three stitches and the first three cast off stitches each side matching up perfectly. Then go to the centre and hook some up and then the centre again if you want and evenly hook it along without any gathering. That's the back on to the sleeve which is onto the front two right sides together, wrong side here, long length here ready to thread across and knit one way to cast off. Make it easy for yourself. Make sure you put it so that you cast off in your favourite direction. I like going this way. All done. Keeping the stitch marker so I know how wide my seam is for the next part of the raglan. All done. Look it off. Can you see how it's going? Front panel, sleeve, back, now the next sleeve. Front panel and sleeve. Casting off again. Sleeve and front. And now we add the back. The final cast off of the raglan seams. Now, they're all put together, look. It looks a bit like a cross. You've got front panel, side, shoulder, back panel, shoulder and sleeve, and front panel. Now, we need to fold it in half and stitch up the sleeve and the side. Just like that. What I'm going to do is remember I've got how many stitches I've used on the welts on each side on the rib just so that when we stitch it together 
on the other side we make sure we've got eight stitches is it two four six seven stitches for the weld it just keeps it tidy put the top of the weld on that stitch join up the center of the seam together and then evenly distribute the rest of the work and if you've got a pattern mark the pattern out so you've got the last tuck line together the lace center together also the seams match up beautifully all these little bits make the difference between a bodged thrown together garment and a professionally sewn up one i'm going to pay attention to detail so i've got the knot between the needles and the long slip side stitch hooked on as the stitch there see that bit and we're following a line you can see that line so the seam is a beautiful line afterwards it's a bit more difficult to do that neatly on the sleeve but on a straight join on the straight sides it's important to get those nice and neat there shouldn't be any juddering you should have made the seam nice enough so that it doesn't upset the machine to knit across and that's exactly what I've done now, I've just knitted it across beautifully. Now to cast it all off. Now we need to turn it the right way out. A nice little motif on the side that I hand selected. The cable detail is absolutely perfect my unusual rib design and my lace and there's a tuck stitch there and there and I'm considering about embroidering some designs on it as well but first of all I better stitch up the other side all I need to do now is cast it off I paid careful attention to match up all the ribs the armpit the patterns and the welt on this side too all done Now it's time for the neck band, and I think I'm going to do a shell edging. Do you want to see the side weld? There's the weld, all stitched together nicely. The lace matched up. See what I mean about keeping those seams really straight and tidy? I'm going to do a shell edging along the side, which is all I do is pick up three stitches, mix six rows, Pick up another three stitches, put them on top, knit six rows and continue the whole way along. I have got a video on that if you want to have a look for it. I shall get on and do this now. Next three stitches to pick up, hook them on and knit six rows. <laughs> 